Hello, I'm Sam LaContro of Sweet Home. I am the president of the Mid Willamette chapter of the Oregon Hunters Association. And something we're trying to stress is safety at all time. You need to check your regulations every year because this year one of the new laws is that you have to report to the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife after your hunt, whether you're successful or not. They need to know whether you've gotten an animal or whatever you're hunting for or you did not. So this way that they can track how many animals have been taken and uh, adjust their regulations as to that point. So 243 Winchester is what I'm shooting. So we always want to make sure what caliber you are using uh, so that you can use the appropriate brush and it you don't get the wrong bullet in the bugs and stuff like that will pack things into a barrel and make a home out of it. And if that barrel is plugged up and you fire a bullet through it, it will damage the rifle and possibly shove the bolt back out at you as you pull the trigger. Ooh. So that is dangerous, totally dangerous. So make always make sure that you have the barrel completely clear of any obstruction. That is a cleaning rod and shove it completely through lighter. Uh, matches are in this and uh, whistle is for signaling anybody uh, tape you can always wherever you're going you leave can your mark leave yeah. your mark so you know you don't circle around you got a uh, poncho you got poncho a sleeping blanket emergency sleeping bank blanket you don't know what the weather's going to be you know a day or so later my goodness we got mountain house freeze-dried food from yes, uh, Oregon freeze-dried in Albany Oregon and I've never had to use it <laughs> You have a two-way radio uh, for you can go to switch different channels and call anybody mm -hmm. and uh, they will if, respond to you. Then you've got somebody, some contact. Or if you're lucky enough to have cell service. Cell and, service, yeah. cell phone, yeah. and uh, always carry a flashlight. Like I say, you have your safety kit, uh, band-aids and uh, bigger band-aids, bug repellent. Sometimes they'll eat you alive. Okay. And... Uh, Binoculars, so yeah. if you see somebody, something, you can you can know if it's a person or not, need to go that way, then that'll work out. A good fanny pack. And with, whether you believe it or not, all of this from this, all of this back to this will fit in this fanny pack. Yeah. Yeah. Sighting in, make sure you have the right ammunition for the gun because there are different calibers that will fit in your gun, but will not shoot, will cause damage to your gun. So this being a 243. And as of right now, it's ready to shoot. And I will not shoot. <laughs> uh, the one thing, if you're around people, a good thing to do is always open the bolt. That way you know it's not going off. And my all theory is always, your gun is always loaded. There is no such thing as an empty gun. 